welcome back to Bake with Hannah. This week we're going to make some scones. So we're back in our lovely cooking room in school and the first thing we need to remember to do is wash our hands and put your apron on. I've already done those things so I'm going to go straight into our recipe. So the first things you're going to need for scones are flour, butter and baking powder. We're going to use two cups of flour. I'm going to put them in really quickly because I know what I'm doing. One full cup and another one. The next thing I need is a teaspoon of baking powder. So I'm just going to do that. Da, da, da. In it goes. And last but not least, I need my butter. So I've had that ready and it's half a cup. Pop all that in and we're going to rub it in together and make our fingers dance. Let me say yeah! Right, now we've made our breadcrumb mixture, we're going to add our other dry ingredients and we only need half a cup for both of these. So half a cup of sugar, that's going straight in. And today I'm using sultanas for my fruit, but you can use any fruit that you like. So cherry is a very good one. And I think I'm going to need a spoon to get these out. In half a cup, so got lots of nice fruit. There we go, and again, just use your spoon to mix it all together. The last thing we need to do is bind it all together to make our dough. So, we're going to use milk and we're going to fill up half a cup, but we don't want a sticky dough. So, once your cup is full I'm just going to add it a little bit at a time you want the dough to be soft but you don't want it to be sticky I need some more so I'm going to add a little bit more and keep going so it's okay if you've got some milk left over right our mixture started to come together so it's time to get your hands in and that's where you get it all sticking together. You want one big piece of dough ready to roll out. And yours should look a little bit like that. Okay, so I've put my dough onto a clean surface and then floured it lightly. It's time to roll it. You can do it as thick as you like, but I like them quite thick. So I'm just going to do a little roll, you've got to be nice and gentle when you're pressing. You don't want them too thin or they won't rise enough. And I turn my dough every so often. Now, time to cut, find a cutter. Again, if you don't have cutters in your house, you can just cut them out with a knife, flip them out and pop them on the baking tray. You can't see my baking tray yet, but I'll show you at the end once they're all on. Again, cut your dough onto the tray. And I should have four lovely scones ready for the oven for my cup of tea later. There's my four scones ready to go. You might have a little bit of dough left, so you can press that together and make another one if you want to, but that's up to you. Right everybody, I have popped my scones into the oven at a very hot temperature of 200 degrees. So parents, this is where we need your help to get those scones into a hot oven. Make sure that you're using oven gloves as well. Uh, leave them for about 10 to 12 minutes or until they're looking golden brown. And this is what you should have. I'm going to come nice and close to show you. Beautiful fruit scones. And I'm not going to share any of them. Great, so that's everything here today with Bake with Hannah. I've tidied away all my things and I'm ready to eat my scones. So you enjoy. Remember to be baking safely, washing your hands and tidying away at the end. And I will see you next time. <laughs>